Hey, y'all, I just wanted to say something right quick. You know, I know sometimes it just seems like, you know, sometimes we just can't let go of things or can't let go of people. And that's because, like, you know, we could physically let go of somebody, but mentally, emotionally, spiritually, they still there. I'm just trying to help y'all because, you know, I'm trying to get I'm, I'm trying to get out of there right now, you know. And it's like, you know, somebody, you could be, they could be physically gone, but spiritually, mentally, emotionally, like I say, they just, they there, you know. And it's like you just don't know how to shake it, you know. And it's like a part of you want to, but a part of you don't want to for, for whatever reason, you know. And like, yeah, like I say, like, I mean, like we know, What's, we know what to do, pray about it, fast and stuff like that. You know, and it's all about uh, um, just a desire. You know, it's a desire, you know, because sometimes we don't have that desire to want to let go. It's a desire. You know, I say this before, like sometimes we got to ask God to give us the desire. Some, with anything, we got to say, God, I don't want to do this or I don't, I don't want to you know, this and stuff like that. But God give me the desire not to want to do this. Give me the desire not to want to want this and stuff like that. You know, I need, to, I need a desire to not want to do this, you know, cause you know, we are supposed to have godly desires, but some of us, we have ungodly desires and stuff like that. You know, I'm just saying, you know, like me, I'm gonna just be keeping it real. So it's just all a It just it just really take you, you know, just bringing it to God, you know, and just keep bringing it to God as much as you as you need to, or much as you, you know, you feel like you have to and stuff like that. Cause I don't care what people say. Like I said, things take time. You don't just get over things or people. Whenever God, even if God say yeah, you know, you know. Things take time. You got to keep giving it over and stuff. You got to keep giving it over and stuff like that. And, you know, if you need somebody to talk to, you should talk to God. But then sometimes, you know, you try to talk to somebody too about it, you know. It feel good to let, To it, it, it's more freeing when you let things out. It is. You know, that's why I'm on here saying what I got to say because I know what I'm, you know, I know, I know how I'm feeling and stuff. I know how I'm feeling. I really want to go off to tell y'all the truth. I really want to go off because it's like, why come fuck with me and my emotions when you're not even serious? When you, you know, you know, like I really want to go off. So I'm going to go off with y'all. So I'm going to act like y'all the person I want to go off on. Okay, because I'm trying to stay away from that person. So why come fuck with me? When you when you know you ain't serious about how you feel, why come put on an act, come fuck with my emotions, come disturb my motherfucking peace? Why come do that shit? Why I come do that? I was at peace. I was all right. I was good. So, but you want to come with your fake emotions and your fake feelings and shit, acting like you fake sorry. And you know you're not. Because a sorry person ain't going to keep doing the same shit, the same fucking shit, trying to hurt you or whatever, or trying to, you know, just any fucking wrong thing they could do, they do it. Any wrong thing they could say, they say it. But you wonder why. But people wonder why God don't want you, don't want them in your life. They wonder why, but then they feel some kind of way. How you going to feel some kind of way and when you keep doing the same shit? How? How? If you, how you going to feel any kind of way when you really don't mean me no fucking good? You know, I don't understand that, y'all. Like, you don't even mean me no fucking good, but you want to feel some way. But you want to keep doing shit to try to piss me off. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, you know, I'm I'm just, I'm getting it out because I don't want to get it out with the with with that person so i'm getting it out with y'all so respect respect the fact that i'm being real and that what i'm just shut up and just deal with it just deal with me anyways the shit don't make no sense i'm pissed off man like chris tucker said i'm pissed off shit come fuck with my emotions i was in a good space and i was about to be in a better i was about to be in an even better space but no Satan came in like a motherfucking flood. Now I'm in my emotions. And I know I need to get out. I don't need y'all to tell me get out my emotions. I need, I know I need to. I know I need to. That's why I'm that's why part of this. That's why I'm doing it, seeing what I'm saying right now. That shit burning me up though. Don't come fuck with nobody and act like you sorry if you know you ain't. Or if you know you mean harm or whatever. And you see, the shit that pissed me off is that you going all hard. That's the thing. Going all hard. 
with it. It's like, it's like they was in their emotions and you try to put me in mine. And you want me to feel like you feel. I wasn't trying to feel like that. So I'm pissed off, y'all. I am. Pray for me. Pray for me. You see, this is the thing. This this what gets me. You know, y'all ever have a strong y'all ever had a strong connection or a strong something with somebody you're not supposed to have it with, but it's strong, it's there. And it's kind of like kind of irresistible, like, you know, but it but is it's there. It's there. You know, it, it's there. But that's that's not the person you should be connected to or have the strong con whatever way, you know. But it's there, though. But the people or the person you should be connected to or should have a strong desire to want and connection, it's, it's not. You don't really want the person, you know. You really don't want the people or whatever, you know. Ain't that something? Like, for example, I remember this dude I used to talk to. And, you know, like, he was physically attractive. You know, he 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 looked it good and stuff. And it's like we had, like, a a strong pull towards one another. You know, and I used to ask him, like, you feel that? Because it was so strong. Like, that shit was strong. And I asked him, you feel that? And he was like, that little feeling. I said, yeah. You see, when somebody could say what I'm thinking, I know it's real. Whether if it's wrong or right, I know it's real. And you know he he said it, so I already knew. But let me tell you this: one day I had seen him in a store, and at this time, I was like, you know, I was reading my Bible, I was praying, I was spending time with the Lord a lot. And when I seen him, he didn't even seem attractive to me anymore, and he was an attractive person. But when I was full of the, since I was full of the Spirit, he wasn't attractive to me at that time. And actually, I didn't even see him no more. I seen demons. I seen devils. You know? And it be like that. It be like that. And so when you're full of the Spirit, sometimes things that once seem attractive don't seem attractive anymore. But that's when you're strong in the spirit. If you ain't strong in the spirit like it should be, then look, some things and some people might seem attractive that shouldn't be. I mean, they got attractive people regardless, but that pull, you know, just might not be there if you in the spirit like it should be. So I just want to encourage y'all to just like, you know, Whatever you need a break from, whoever you need a break from, just keep giving that thing over to God, you know. Just keep praying about it. Don't ever stop praying about it. I know sometimes we get tired of saying, y'all get tired of hearing, like, pray, pray, pray. But it is. I mean, it is, you know. And if you could find somebody to talk to and you could, like, God, yes, first. But, a, a, like, a, a person, if you need to get it off your chest. Like, that's why I'm on here, to tell y'all the truth. I'm getting that shit off of my chest because I don't want to go text or call nobody phone and start going off and all that, you know, somebody I shouldn't be connected to. So, y'all, I just want to tell y'all, you know, just, just, just keep, just keep on giving it over, you know. That's all I can say. All right, so I'm going to be back tomorrow, all right? All right.